step number 39, we're going to install the sway bar uprights onto the A-arms. First thing that we're going to do is to insert the balls into the other end of our links, and they need to go on in the opposing direction from the ones we put on earlier. So that's what it's going to look like. Going to do that on both of them. Ouch. <laughs> okay. So now that we have those on, let's move to the next step. I'm going to set those out of the way. On the, going to turn our chassis upside down for the moment here. On the back of the A-arm, so as you're looking up the chassis, that's actually the back of the A-arms, you're going to see a hole right here. It goes through the A-arm. You can see it right by my thumb. Let's go ahead and insert one of the small screws in this step through there. And you're going to push it most of the way through. Now we're going to take one of our links and as it's upside down, we're going to let that dangle. Use this one. We're going to let that dangle down as we insert it. So, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers here to hold on to this. And put a little Loctite on. And screw that little puppy in. Once you get it tight, you're not going to be able to hold on to it really well with the needle nose. So go ahead and use that little seven millimeter wrench that came in your kit that fits right over that ball and go ahead and snug them down real good. We're going to go ahead and repeat this process for you on the other side at a different angle so that you can see what's going on. Hopefully it'll give you a better idea. I'm going to stick that through, put some thread lock a little too much there. Use our needle nose. Thread that on. Supposedly. It's really fun trying to work for the camera and hold things at weird, odd angles. So that's why I'm having the troubles that I am here. It's not that difficult. There we go. Screws right in. Use the seven millimeter wrench. and tighten it down nice and tight. That's what they look like at the moment. There goes our skid plate. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get all of our parts out, and we're going to move on to step number 30. Going to continue on now with step number 40 and install the sway bar onto the front of our Baja. I've gone ahead and pre-installed the two nuts on the top of this unit right here. Just press them in and we'll be ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is to install two small set screws into the top of that same unit.
They're the teeny tiny little ones. There should be four of them in there that we're going to use in two different places. And those are going to install right into the hole here. You want to screw it in just till it's about even. We're going to use those to adjust the sway bar in a little bit. So go ahead and screw both of those in. Then we're going to take the other two set screws and we're going to put them into the metal part of our sway bar link that we installed earlier. I'm not sure why the directions didn't have us do that before, but we're going to do it now. And we're going to put just a small dab of Loctite on them. And they're going to install into this metal link. I'll have to give you a shot of it here in a second. We're just going to put it a little ways in and that's this link right here. You can see the set screw installed. That damn plate keeps coming off. We'll put it back on in a minute. Let's do the second side here. Put some Loctite on there. Screw it in a little ways. There we go. Now, we are going to take these two little pieces here. And you can see on the back there's a hex. It's almost like a nut. Focus. There we go. And those are going to press right down into the front of the bulkhead here. One on each side where you see the hex. And go ahead and make sure that they press all the way down in. You can see them here. Now we are going to take our sway bar and set it down. Actually, let's go ahead at the moment and insert them into the ends of the links. And if they're not in the right position, go ahead and swivel them around. We're going to position those right in the edge. And the link goes right down inside of the grooves on those two little parts we just put on. I'll get you another, another shot of this. Fit right down into that groove. Now comes the tricky part. We're going to take this unit and with the nuts that we installed facing up and the set screws facing towards the outside, we're going to set that right on top to pinch the sway bar. That piece just sits right on top of the sway bar. Now, the tricky part, let's hold that into place and turn the chassis over. Going to make sure that that's in place properly and doesn't get moved around. And we're going to insert the two screws through the skid plate holes to hold that sway bar into place. Those are long screws. This is where you know you want a power driver if you don't have one. After you get done with these, your forearms will be sore. Go ahead and make sure those are cranked down. Let's come back and double check the sway bar to make sure it's not pinched. I'm going to slide that back off. Okay, so you see the sway bar is in there and it's not binding. What we're going to do, and you can also see that there's side-to-side -side play in the sway bar. 
what we're going to do is adjust the little set screws. Let's just keep moving this up and down as we screw that set screw in until it touches the sway bar. And it's going to be quite a ways in. Okay, just when you feel it touch the sway bar, now the sway bar is not going to be independently active. Okay, so I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. Until the sway bar is loose again. And what we're doing is we're just taking up the play inside there. And we don't want the sway bar to bind, so we're going to screw that screw in just until it touches the sway bar. And then back it out about a quarter turn. Now we're going to insert the sway bar into the sway bar link. I'm going to press it all the way in. All the way. And then tighten up the set screw. Do the same on the second side. And we now have an installed sway bar. see how that looks. You can see the links connect to the bottom of the A-arm, come up, sway bar comes around, is pinched in between these two halves. The screws go from the bottom all the way through, help hold that front end together and hold the sway bar on. And that's how it looks. Again, you're going to want to make sure that everything is free and not binding. If you want to hold down one side, you can actually feel and watch that sway bar work. Very fun, very interesting. All right, we got a lot done here. The next step is going to be moving on to step number 41. So let's go ahead and get our pieces and parts laid out for that, and we'll get rolling.